All right, this is for making an adjustable stomper for a transfemoral check socket prosthetic fitting or early prosthetic fitting. The key components. I put this together because um, the parts list that I had from ooh, years ago, um, a lot of those things aren't available anymore, and so I had to source them. I figured to make it a little bit easier, and if you've never done one of these, make it a lot easier. Stomper Junior here, that's readily available from SBS. It's just a overgrown crutch tip, basically. The Junior refers to the size here, and that's sized to fit a 30 millimeter pylon, and it will take the outer sleeve tubes. Um, so it probably goes up to, you can probably put you know something close to 40 in it if you needed to. The Seniors, uh, same basic design but it's set up to take like a two inch PVC pipe for someone wanting to do a shower leg or something along those lines. Um, main components here we just have a, a 17 inch regular 30 millimeter pylon. I chose to put the 30 millimeter sleeved inside the other one going towards the top so that you can use regular 30 millimeter components to change that up at the top if you have a particular length issue or you're matching it up to a particular knee sometimes you might need to change the pyramid adapter out I keep the male pyramid on there most of the time because most of my check sockets will have a female uh, rotatable pyramid on them and that's what we carry over in the definitive to attach to knees now a key thing that you'll need to acquire one of these little spring clips. They are what's in a, inside of a walker for an adjustment or sometimes you'll see them as part of a wheelchair, crutches. This comes out of a bedside commode that um, I just got. It was a parts piece at a DME provider locally and they gave it to me and I just ripped these out of it for it. Having a little bit more difficulty finding these pieces. So, went online, it was pretty easy to do a search. The folks that I wound up getting it from is Online Metals. Uh, they have an excellent website that lets you uh, select aluminum tubing by the internal diameter. So you, you know, put in 30 millimeters and see what comes up. And this is the tubing that I got. It gives you all the information. Now that's in inches, but on their website you can do it in millimeters. Uh, I do recommend the 2024 tubing uh, for the little additional strength. There is one size down from this uh, as far as internal dimension that will still, I believe, fit oh, no problem over a 30 millimeter pylon, but I have used stompers with, I believe, that size before, and if they're not deburred perfectly, or if you get something down inside of them, they tend to, uh, you know, jam up and, and bind a little bit. So, don't really need a real tight tolerance. Happy to have a little extra space in my system. Easier to adjust. Just keep that in mind, that's why I did that, but you can use the tighter one. Now, the part numbers. We're using American Prosthetic Components. There is the 17 inch pylon. And the male pyramid. Just want to put in a good word for them. They were great. Um, they're, you know, the logo that they usually do for us, laser etch or whatever it is. Um, you know, of course that's normally at the bottom of a pylon and I needed it at the top set where this this component could go on the top and it still shows the logo and they were uh, they made it really easy to do that so definitely recommend them in that regard now when it comes to measurements we have that 17 inch pylon the outer tube I made just over 14 inches let me show you the reasoning there we match up the inner and outer tube, it still leaves the logo exposed and the uh, male pyramid. So we're not wasting any space and we're not trashing our logo with the up and down. Now on the other end, let's see, get this out so where you can see the end. The holes go right to the top 
and you can see, let me flip that over, we're just over four inches is where that they start, or right at four inches on the, if you're looking at the bottom of the hole. Reason for that is that's what will be sliding inside the stomper. And I've used stompers before that holes, had holes all the way down into the stomper that uh, if you get stuck in one of those makes it really difficult to get out. So you definitely want your last holes ending above the top of the stomper. Now, knowing that your last holes are above the top of the stomper means that you want to put your inner spring clamp, spring adjuster, on your pylon where that's going to be in the same area so when they're close to the same length all the way down that's engaging the last hole in your outer sleeve uh, without you know going down in the stomper. This just gives you maximum strength, maximum depth, mass, maximum adjustability. Alright, let me slide these two together so you can see what I'm talking about. So, at its all out length. Now I'm not going to include the stomper in this length. Uh, stomper only adds a little bit to the very bottom, but uh, say top of the pylon to bottom of the tube, we're looking at over 26 inches. And then when we slide everything all the way down and in, okay, that takes us all the way down to 17 inches. So nice range of adjustment. Now when it comes to adjustment, I like to have the two rows and these are spaced at an inch and offset so that you have basically half inch spacing. The reason for the half inch and not metric on that is because more often than not you're using uh, half inch crepe for height adjustments and so it just makes it clean if you're transferring things in and out. Now when it comes to drilling that, you definitely want a drill press. It makes it a whole lot easier. And I made myself a little jig to make it a little bit easier too. Regular piece of crepe. Just bend it at about a 45 and ground a flat on it, which makes a nice cradle for holding the tube while you're drilling it. Now for my particular spring clip, it was an 11 32nd hole, and I, you know, I just experimented with that to make sure it worked well. Um, these spring clips definitely do come in different sizes depending on manufacturer. So just make the holes to match the size of the spring clips that you got. The tube, the outer tube that I have there, it did not look that pretty when I got it. I did polish it up. Now I just used some Flitz metal polish. It's a metal polish I keep around. I, I'm, you know, since I made this one, I'm thinking I might like to really polish it up. Um, I believe it's Nuvite aluminum polish that I think I can put a mirror finish on it and I might show you in a future video if I manage to pull that off. All right, last little piece of assembly here is to drop that, let's see, drop that whole thing down inside the stomper. All right, and there you have it. So, highly adjustable stomper, logo, logoed, easy to adapt to different applications, and comes in handy when it comes to prosthetic fitting. Let me see if I can put this down and put you on the wobbly cam to see a, a picture of the whole thing. There you go. Thank you. Bye.